Roger Ebert is without his famous voice for now. When we last sat down together, he was writing notes, which his wife Chaz would read. Cold, calculated, and premeditated. That's how DuPage County State's Attorney Joe Burkett described this murder case today. Table 52, Art Smith's very hot Chicago restaurant, is internationally famous for its fried chicken and macaroni and cheese. Our first indication that something wasn't right today was when the mayor canceled a public appearance. Still not clear whether there ever was a gunman inside the Rubloff building this morning, but Northwestern University campus police and Chicago police were taking no chances. It's really a remarkable thing to see the aftermath of what is left of this building after this natural gas explosion. It is behind me here. It's very dark here at this Belvedere plant. ABC 7's Kevin Roy, lucky him, is live along the lakefront at North Avenue Beach. Spectacular day for you to be out there, Kevin. Yes, it is, Linda. Spectacular indeed. The kind of day that may make you want to wear a yellow shirt, put your sleeves up a bit, loosen up your collar. The kind of day that brought a big smile to most of our faces today. They might not appreciate this kind of day out in L.A. where it's sunny practically every day. But today, after the winter we survived, Chicagoans were savoring it. Ron, since we first showed you dash cam video taken from inside Officer Richard Fiorito's squad car, he's been taken off the streets and placed on desk duty. He can no longer make DUI arrests. With credit for good behavior, Michael Jackson could be out by the end of 2010. But he says he's pinning all his hopes now on an appeal. 